greenhouse. Well, a swimming pool at the moment, but which we will hope to convert into a greenhouse and a herb garden. Now we're looking at the grill area, and so we have an Argentinian style grill for meats and other things, and we have also a, a small wooden stove. Wood stove, not wooden stove. <laughs> or clay stove. Sure. But it's a good possibility. This is a grinding stone. For making, for instance, the traditional Bolivian yahua, the hot <laughs> sauce, you use this to make it, to grind the peppers. Yep. Es el edificio de San Alberto. Sí, pero no vivo en ese edificio, por si acaso. Mire, y ahora vamos a tener que mostrar las posibilidades de parque. Ya. ¿Puedes, por favor, filmarlos a los tapiados? This is the main entrance for the uh, for the house, and as you may see, if we come down a little, um, th there there's enough parking place for 17 uh, cars when you get into the house. Just parking here at the, at the street, as you may see, there's a little place to do that and a little park also, and it's possible to use the street that we have in front also for parking. Um, this is the other uh, street that goes into the house and as you may see uh, we are just two blocks away from the main uh, commercial area in La Paz uh, one of the main co uh, legal commercial areas in La Paz in fact uh, this is the 21 street of Calacoto uh, there are a lot of shops restaurants, uh, office buildings in here um, and this is one of the, the places where the people of La Paz comes into during the during the weekends in order to uh, to eat uh, during the morning, uh, to have salteñas, you know, little snacks and also for dining. Uh, just uh, five blocks away from the house we have here one of the main spots of La Paz and also from the south part of the city which is the church of uh, San Michael, San Miguel. As you may see there are a lot of brand new buildings that are being built around this, this main avenue that's called Avenida Vallivian. Um, we, are, we are experiencing right now uh, a construction boom here so as you may see there are new buildings that are being built or have been built recently um, and this is this is a place one of this, these new buildings for example is over there okay you have the last building I show you and as you may see we are pretty much close uh, to the uh, to the hotel where Klaus was uh, was a guest um, the last time he got in? No. Yeah, it was, it was the last every time. Every time he's been here. Every time he's been here, okay. Yeah, together with Te and with Baun as well, they all have stayed at this hotel. You may see the hotel from here. You may recognize, Klaus, that this place here in La Paz is the finest and also the place that it's growing, you know, more we're fast. Here's the hotel. So as you may see, we are less than five minutes away from the from from the from the place that uh, has been uh, has been selected uh, for the restaurant for the fine dining. By the way, can you show him Charlie Papa? 
this is one of the restaurants of Jorge Gordán, the uh, latest businessman who wants to get involved in the project. This is again the finest, the, the fine building that we show you. It's brand new, and we're getting into one of the uh, uh, collateral um, uh, streets that will bring us into a, uh, um, a neighborhood called San Miguel. And this neighborhood, it's just uh, very near to the church that we may see from here. Uh, as you may see, here is the here is the church that we have shown you. Uh, we're going uh, to the 21 Street again. Oh, second. Okay. So you can see just up this way, if we go up one and a half blocks and turn right, we're at the Casa Nilsson. And now we're going towards San Miguel, the uh, the restaurant district. And I'll start by showing you a familiar place, which is the two restaurants you saw the first time you came. This is all the restaurant commercial district, which is booming, as you can see. Places full of bars, restaurants. It used to be residential, but more and more it's becoming a restaurant district. Uh, here at the corner, you may recognize Klaus, this place called Vanilla. And on the side of Vanilla, it's uh, uh, Martin's uh, son restaurant. This is the place that we visited the first time you came to Bolivia in uh, December 2010, and you wanted to take both, both of those restaurants were available. Now, we just go down the street for half a block. You see there's a tea and bookstore. It's new. New, yeah. There's and also a coffee store that it's new here. Yeah. And Fogoncito, this is the place that will be available to put in a bistro and bakery. We can't film inside right now, so I'll go by very slowly just to show you where it's located. And later on, we can do a video inside. But it's a perfect size for a cafe, bistro, and a bakery. And also, it's just in the corner of another, uh, and uh, so few cafes and uh, two other restaurants, very nice restaurants. We ha we have an ice cream store, Italian ice cream store over there. We have here Arena Flower. It's a restaurant, and also our good friend uh, Robe, um, Jorge, Jorge Cordan restaurant. Two restaurants, a cafe and a restaurant, Pani Patio, that you may see here. So it's a very good place, and it, it, it's the best place that you can have here in La Paz for a bistro and a bakery store.